Hey, what's up? My name is Grant Kenoki. I'm a singer, songwriter, producer, and artist, and you're listening to Power 98.5. Hey, everybody. This is Nick Mayhew, three-time gold medalist and three-time world record holder, and you're listening to Power 98.5. We don't play the social game. We are social. Power 98.5. Hi, this is Dan Aykroyd. He's progressive. He's beautiful. He's thoughtful. He's intelligent. He's powerful. He's positive. He is Stephen Cuoco on Power 98.5 Satellite Radio. Yeah, and Houston, we don't have a problem because you just made it to the semifinals. No, we do not have a problem, but sometimes I do have some problems. (laughs) How does this feel? It's sort of like the golden buzzer, but so the jury voted you through, right, to the summer. That's that's cool. I mean, it feels amazing. Yeah. At the same time, I had no idea how this thing worked. I was just like, yo, I'm going to sit up there and play my thing. To me, it's not about winning. I mean, it's really not about that. To me, it's about just making music and doing what I love, you know. And also, I met everybody on this cast or whatever. Yeah. They're amazing. Yeah. So I feel grateful that I got to meet some new friends and new people that I get to enjoy stuff with. But also, yeah, hell yeah, I won. I feel good as Excuse me. (laughs) Excuse me. All right, there we go. Oh, I can curse a little bit? I'm in, baby. Yeah. Hold me down live in studio. Love potion. Let's get it. Can you hold me down tonight? Yeah. Cause something just ain't feeling right. Oh. That is just a little taste of this extraordinary, talented young man from Rhode Island. We've got Corey Houston, best known as Houston, on this season of American Song Contest that airs on Monday or Mondays at 8 p.m. Eastern Time. So we're going to go, we're going to do a live music drop. His hit song, We All Recognize, on American Song Contest. But most importantly, we're going to find out a little bit more of what really inspires Houston, his soul to continue to just get through every day as a music artist, because we all know what music artists go through, the struggles, the determination, the financial responsibilities, the goals, everything to make who they are to be able to come forward and be able to just bring and share their all to people who need a loving word, uh, a word of inspiration. Uh, Houston is an artist, songwriter, and producer based out of Florida, originally from Rhode Island. And without further ado, and I want to thank everyone for being patient, we have with us live today on Power 98.5 Satellite Radio, live on air with Stephen Cuoco, Houston. What up, Steven? How you doing, my friend? I'm doing great. Can't complain, man. Your story has really uh, touched many people in a way to where you have been very transparent. Uh, you took us on a journey on American Song Contest, uh, the reality of your life, the area that you grew up in, uh, in Rhode Island, how how often do you really reflect now while being in Florida where you've come from, what you do every day now in a new location? What has that done for you? I mean, to be honest, I mean, I, you know, as a ch- your childhood, I was fixed with you, you know what I mean? Everywhere you go. So that's number one. Um, but, uh, you know, I, I have the same thing in Florida, too. I, I, you know, I grew up half there, half here. You know what I'm saying? So it was the same thing out here. You know what I'm saying? So I have a special connection, honestly, to both places. Um, but they were both rough. You know what I'm saying? It was, it was, it wasn't easy. My mom, my mom was a, you know, single, single mother. You know, worked as many jobs as she could to try to keep the roof over our head. You know, and she didn't have a lot of help. You know what I'm saying? I mean, 
she just pretty much did her best, you know. She was a bartender, a server, uh, that kind of stuff. So it was pretty much just me and my three brothers kind of running them up, you know what I mean, getting into trouble. You know, and, you know, luckily I found music because it kind of like set me on a different path than a lot of people that I knew growing up went down. You know what I'm saying? And some of those people aren't here today. Um, whether it be, you know, drugs or gang violence or, you know, I mean, I got a lot of friends in the military who passed away too. So it's just like, I mean, I kind of like, it, it's, it's like I said in my story, you know, on, on a American Song Contest, it's like, man, it's, it's, there's a lot of people that I knew coming up and just ain't, they're not, they didn't make it to even be my age. So to me, like, my music has a lot of that pain, a lot of that realness, a lot of that struggle. Um, and I think that's what music should do. Music should portray that. It should pull you. You know, I'm, I'm actually quoting Michael Bolton, what he said about me. <laughs> that's crazy. But, he, you know, even he said this about me. It was like, yo, you know, music should pull you like that, you know, and it should tug at your heart. It should be something you feel. So... I mean, you know, where I come from is every is everything to me. You know, I'm, I I really relate to people who who struggle because I because I understand what it what it feels like. You know, since the pandemic, Houston, have you found that people have been able to relate to you a lot more? Has there been more of a connection? Uh, more of grace with understanding your narrative, your context, and your identification with how you identify with yourself and with the world. Has there been more of a community within the last two years that's built around you, um, whether it be in Florida, Rhode Island, in your travels? How has that community been? I mean... I'm going to be a hundred percent honest with you, man. Like I was relatively very unknown. <laughs> so yeah, I've got a great team, you know what I'm saying? And I've built that through the past couple of years, but really until this show, people didn't really care. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So to me, it's just like, it's, you know, and I think that's why my story is so inspiring because it's just like, just, you, you just don't ever give up on yourself. You know what I mean? Don't ever quit. If you don't quit, you can't lose. You know, if you don't show up, they ain't going to show up. You know, so to me, that's 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 the best part of this whole thing. You know, it's like I've been working at this for 10 years, probably more, you know, with with some successes here and there. You know, I've had some things and stuff in my old group that I was in, Blancos. Uh, uh, but... You know, that band broke up, whatever, ups and downs, ups and downs. And then it's like, you know, you put that hard work in, man. And it's just this, an opportunity like this comes up. And then, like, I wake up and I'm like, I'm, I'm like famous, pretty much. <laughs> so it's like, <laughs> I'm just taking it all in, man. I'm loving it. I'm grateful for it. But at the end of the day, man, I'm, truthfully, I'm going to be me no matter what. You know, no one's going to change me. You know, the success ain't going to change me. I'm going to keep it real and be me, you know, whether it's me playing the song in front of thousands of people, you know, on that big stage or it's me playing that song in a dive bar somewhere. Like I'm, I'm going to be playing that song. It's just who I am, you know? So uh, to me, that's the most important thing, you know, keeping my feet on the ground and just realizing like, Hey man, all these lights could go away tomorrow, but you know what you got still, you got, you got the gift that, that God gave you that you got that music, bro. That ain't never leaving you. It goes back to that saying, Houston, be careful what you wish for. You just may get it and you got it. Now the question is, is what are you going to do with it? And, and what are you going to do to make sure you not only do not run away from yourself, but you continue to run towards yourself, towards your passion, towards your, your love, the love of your life, of being here because uh, you truly are inspiring. You remind me a little bit of um, Post Malone. I don't know. It could maybe be the tattoo on a neck or whatever, and it's a compliment because I do like Post Malone. 
Oh, I love, I love Post. Yeah, you like Hey, Post, Post if you're listening, let's do, let's do a track, man. <laughs> Absolutely, seriously. Uh, yeah. You can go anywhere and do anything, and I truly mean that, and I believe that. And it is said, timing is everything. It used to tick me off a lot of times. I couldn't stand it because I'd be too impatient. I want it in my time. But what's beautiful and where you inspire me is – timing is everything and you remind me of that not reminded you continue to remind me of that being here in this moment with you reminds me that timing really is everything so you have full control over your life you have full control of your journey and you're going to continue to do great things yeah i mean that's all you can do is i mean it's, it's crazy man once once you stop chasing it it really comes to you like once you, cause, cause a lot of the, a lot of my younger career was chasing, chasing, chasing and making the wrong move. But it's like, you gotta, you gotta make those wrong moves to know what the right moves are. And eventually you just chill out and you go, okay, this could happen or it might not happen, but am I going to stop playing music and doing it? Like, no, this is what I do. It's what I love. It could be, I, I'm, I'm not lying when I say this, bro. It could be four people that like me or it could be four million people or four billion people none of that matters to me. <laughs> it used to matter to me you know what i'm saying uh back in the day i don't care anymore man i've been through the ringer dude and i've just realized that dude the thing that i love is music you know and my family you know and my friends that i could count on you know my hand you know and and the good people that i continue to meet you know, good relationships that I get, you know, that stuff's more important. I've, I've, I've done the living in Hollywood and seen all the fakeness, man. I, I know what it is, you know, and it's not bad. Not every, not, it's not all bad, but it's just, I'm just going to keep it real. That's who I am. You know, I'm just going to keep it real. I'm going to sing my songs and just be me. You know, I'm going to sit on a stool and just sing. I don't need to do anything else. <laughs> you know, you know, I mean, that's how I feel, you know. What has your mother most recently said to you? Um, I mean, she's super, super proud. I mean, it was even kind of hard to talk to her dude, because she was just crying so much. But uh, yeah, man, she just said, "Hey, baby, you, you know, I always knew you'd do it. You never gave up on yourself." And uh, hey, I mean, honestly, man, she, I, I can credit everything to her, man. You know, she 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 was a singer uh, when I was a kid. You know, she was in a, she was in bands, but she had to give it up because, you know, she had four boys, and you know, she didn't have really any help, so she had to just work. You know, so for me, it was really just like hearing her words of wisdom as a kid, man. Like I remember, like one year. Christmas, man, we had to stand in a food line back in our aisle. Man, I was so young. I was probably like four or five, maybe. Yeah, four or five. And I'm like, we're standing at a food line in the church to get food for Christmas, dude. And we don't know. We're kids. We don't know any better. We don't know, you know, the difference. You know what I'm saying? But, you know, she did what she had to do to get it for us. You know what I mean? And a lot of people would be ashamed to stand in that line, but she stood in that line to make sure we, you know, to make sure we had had a little bit of something. So it's just like, I don't know, man. As a kid, my mom would always be like, hey, God's giving us everything we need right now. We don't need anything else because we got each other. And you know what, man? That's 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 the thing to me. That's 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 the fire in my heart, the burning in my heart. I always wanted to prove to my mom like, that she Oh, shit, sorry, I'm going to get emotional here, but that she birthed somebody that did something, you know, that she created somebody that, that was great. Uh, and, uh, man, it feels good to, to be doing it. <laughs> shit, man, I'll tell you what. Well, you've always been great. We're going to do a live music drop of Held On Too Long on NBC's American Song Contest, Mondays at 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Before we play this live track here, 
what was going through your mind when you were up on stage? Where were you at mentally and emotionally? Um, well, you know, I made great friends with, I mean, all the contestants, but me and Ryan Charles, like, buddied up right away. So, I mean, shit, we're super close with each other. So he he went on before me, so I'm backstage, and I was doing a new boo goofing with him. I was just getting down. He was loosening me up. I was watching him kill it, so that fired me up, man. I got, I, I, that made me comfortable. I watched my boy kill it, so I went and sat down on that stool, and I was like, hey, man. I felt good. I felt good. And and then, you know, also watching that story that they did on me before. I mean, I just sat on that stool. I watched that. I felt that feeling. And I was either God or the universe, whatever you want to call it, was just telling me, man, like, yo, this is who you are. You got this. Like, don't be afraid. It's your time. It's all good. Like, you got this. You, you're meant to be here. It's all good. You just do you. That was it. Closed my eyes, said a little thank you prayer, and then I just went for it. You ready to go back into that moment? I'm ready. I'm ready. Here we go. Held on too long by Houston live on NBC's American Song Contest. Tell that there was someone else by the way you put me on the shelf, and I knew that it was time to say goodbye. So just go on. Your thoughts. You hear me? I'm sorry you broke up there. No, I said your thoughts. What's going through your mind after hearing that? Uh, I'm just, just reliving that moment, just how it felt being up there. I mean, I just, I really just, I go to another place, man. I just, it's like, it's usually like after the first line. I just like disappear and go somewhere else. So, uh, yeah, it's man. It brings me back, but at the same time, I'm very like I I I'm very I I like to one up myself. So there's parts of that performance where I'm like, hmm, could have done that a little bit better. You know what I mean? 
other people are like, I have no idea what you're talking about. That's incredible. But I'm just like, for me, being the artist, there's just little things that I can that I critique, and you know, I'll fix those things. But you know, as far as like the vibe and the feeling, it's like, yeah, I love it. And and also just gratitude, man. That's it. It's just it's just gratitude. I'm just grateful. Just grateful that I got to do that, man. You know, and 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 sing that song. You know, and, and sing. You know, sing with Snoop Dogg standing like pretty much right next to me. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> pretty crazy uh you know and, and michael bolton being out there it's like you know these are records that those are artists that played in my house constantly my dad played snoop stuff constantly my mom played michael bolton's records constantly it was just like it's crazy you know it's crazy it's just wild i'm just grateful grateful well, now what you have to look forward to, Houston, and we're going to close out very soon. And I want to thank you for being with us today, um, NBC okay. and uh, MPRM um, out there into summer for setting this all up. Your mother now has to look forward to red carpet Grammys when you go get your award. Yeah. Um. Yeah, I can't wait for that moment. Uh, <laughs> but I, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a one foot in front of the other kind of guy too. You know, I got a big task ahead of me uh, in this competition, um, in this show, really to just perform my best for the next round, and that's where my head's at. I can't look too far ahead. I mean, obviously, I envision that all the time, and I would love that. Uh, and you know, it probably is going to happen. I'm not going to lie. You know, there's a good chance it will. But like I said, one foot in front of the other. You know, you know, go out to the semifinals, and that's where I'm. That's where I'm focused on semifinals, and not and not focus on winning either. Focus on doing the my the best I can out there. You know, good at putting on a, my best performance. That's what I'm focused. on. I would like to close by saying to you, Houston, you have full permission if you allow yourself, you know, to have the opportunity to fully embrace whatever is in front of you, around you or behind you. Let it go. Allow the waters to just come and encapsulate you. The the light, the opportunity, the energy fully submerge yourself into this now. You have full permission. That's that's what my heart is telling me to tell you. You have full permission to submerge and to embody. This is not a new well, don't role. Don't worry. I'm, I'm swimming, baby. You're yeah, swimming. Well, I'm swimming. <laughs> <laughs> we good. On your back, no, coasting. I mean, listen, you know, I'm, 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 you know, I have a good time, but I'm a humble person. My mom raised me to be humble and not to get a big head. So, And I, and I have had a big head before. And that's why I say that. Okay. And I've I messed up some opportunities by acting like that. So, you know, I'm I, you know, I'm just a man of my word and, and, and you know, I told my mom I would not be that way, you know, and and I'm not gonna be that. You know, I will enjoy it. Like I said, I will swim in those waters, baby. I love it. Mm. I'm I'm swimming, I'm loving all this. But at the same time it's like also being like, Hey, I'm humbled by it, you know, and not having a big head about it. Well, you and Post Malone are there in that clear, cool, but yet warm, embodied emotion and, and water with your margaritas in your hand and just letting the sun shine down on your face. I'm down. That's a music video. Yeah. <laughs> Call Post Malone. I'm up. Let's go. Uh, who would you like to give a shout out to? I'd like to give a shout out to my mother. I love you to death, uh, to my wife, Brianna, to my two beautiful children, King and Morrison. I'd like to give a shout out to my dad, my brothers, uh, Brent, Brandon, and Mike. Uh, I also want to give a shout out to all my friends, Justin, Justin Dallas. Uh, I want I also want to give a shout out to like somebody, you know, one of the other contestants who I feel like has become a real close friend of mine, Ryan Charles, another contestant too. On the show that's become really close to me, UG Skywalking, uh, and Maxi, uh, and every and honestly everybody else on the show too, because everybody that I met there was just 
It's amazing. So shout out to everyone. Y'all are doing your thing too. And I think that's incredible. Mm. Uh, and then about the competition to me, it's just about if we get a moment to just share our, our music with each other and with the world. And that's it. So shout out to all y'all. Well, when you get to see Grant Kenoki, my good friend, let him know you and I spoke. You can let him know you were on the show. Um, I'm definitely looking forward to uh, having him on, uh, been following and being connected to his journey for some time. So you're amongst great people. You are greatness. And I would like to um, uh, let everyone know, find out all things about Houston at I am Houston H U E S T O N dot com. And what's the best social media platforms to connect you? I know you got TikTok, you got an Instagram. TikTok, Instagram is what I rock with the most. Twitter Twitter can be kind of uh toxic. So I you know, I'll tweet, but I kind of try to stay off Twitter as much as I can. Okay. Uh, but TikTok at I am Houston and uh, Instagram at I am Houston. Everything is I am Houston. All the all the socials are the same, so you can find me, find me on all those platforms. And yeah, make sure you all stream the song and save the song and share the song and all that good stuff. Thank you for being with us today, Houston, on Live on Air with Stephen Cuoco on Power 98.5 Satellite Radio. We're going to re-air this episode tomorrow at 2 p.m. and 6 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. You can tune in to NBC's American Song Contest, Mondays, 8 p.m. Eastern. Houston, congratulations on everything. I I know the world is opened up to you, and, and you really have the opportunity to do and accomplish everything you want. Absolutely. Amen to that, man. And a big shout-out to NBC and to MPRM Communications in Los Angeles. What a great great day we're going to close out held on too long live on nbc's american song contest performing or performance by houston you put me on the shelf and i knew that it was time to say goodbye so just go on You worry about me, I'll be fine. I thought I could save us, but I was wrong. I guess we are on too long. socials and let's connect.